Welcome back. First playoff game. Oh. Against Sacramento. Uh. Can't believe the regular season's done. Some of those games I can barely remember. But we did it. We made the playoffs. And tonight, I make my postseason debut. I wasn't sure I'd be here as a rookie. But I can't wait to see what this team can do. Like KG said, anything's possible. So let's go chase that title. I don't want to go chase the title. I just, I just don't want to go no more. I can't do it. Welcome back. Um. Uh, yeah. This game's crazy. Starts off with a bang right here. Game one. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And joining us in a bit later from the sidelines, Doris Burke. We've got Sacramento and Memphis. Look at Memphis. In a seven-game right, series, they have the home crowd advantage. You can you can feel it in the air, guys. But will they be able to start the series with the going with almost an entire new group here? Right, he's checked in for Randall. Barnes comes in for Green. Courtney Lee has checked in for Allen. And Freak subbed in for Mike Conley. On the court for Sacramento. Bellinelli is out there with Rajon Rondo. Then there's Caspi. Then there's Cauley Stein. And it's Kufus in at the power forward. And it's Freak missing. The Kings trail by nine. And Doris Burke spoke with George Carl. Doris? You can put Coach in the crowd that feels game one is the most important game in the series. He said to take the first game on the road would put us in the driver's seat from a mental advantage as well as a home court advantage. Guys? Thanks again, Doris. Well, it's been mentioned before that the people Freak associates with have come into question, right? Recently, that topic has been a hot one for him again. And, you know, sometimes it takes ownership talking to you or just your family or sometimes a combination of both. Look, for the sake of Freak, I hope he does what he has to do to surround himself with the best people possible. That's a must. Really important if he's going to move in the right direction. Right side, Lee. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. That's good. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Rondo kicks to Caspi. They set the pick. That's a two from Bellinelli. No good off the front iron. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Barnes passes to Lee. And the foul called on Freak. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. The Kings have made four free throws from the line and missed two. Grizzlies making a switch here. So he gets them both. Steady work at the free throw line. Just what we're used to seeing out of him. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. Oh, boy. And here's Freak on getting his first taste of playoff basketball. As a team, we're focused. You know, we're expecting the intensity to increase. And it's going to be loud. It's going to be physical, you know? But I'm not nervous. I'm ready for whatever comes my way. Clark, you've been through this as a player. What goes through a player's mind before he's going with the new group? And the Kings will go for a different look here. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Cousins. Caspi comes in for Quincy Ace. Bellinelli, he's checked in for James Anderson. Ajan Rondo subbed in for Darren Collins. Hi in at point guard. Marcus Saul is out there with Brandon Wright. Then there's Allen. And it's Barnes in at the three side. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Here's Hines. And the shot no good. You kidding me? And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. The drive by Rondo. That's a two from Bellinelli. Nobody near game. Kept alive by Sacramento. 
and so he draws the foul on the shot on a trip to the line to shoot two. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. And Memphis making a change here. Lee's checked in, and a change for the Kings. Kufus is checked in. Free dishes to Gasol. Six to shoot. Damn it, Gasol! Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Hell. No good off the back of the rim. The Kings trail by six. They push it up for on three. Outside Rondo feeds it to Casper. The dish to Bellinelli. Elbow shot is on the way. And Wright pulls it down. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Here's Hines. Oh, and again, Memphis damn it, the freaking and he has slipped into a funk, Clark. You can see really the pissed me off. It's shaking. Yeah, it really is. I mean, he's very much deflated. The basket looks a lot smaller to him at this point, and the only way you can get out of it is to work yourself out of it. Not sure if they're aware of the two for one opportunity. Well, they ought to be. I mean, that basic basketball time management, you got to be aware of your clock and your situation. Right outside. The drive by Allen. And he lays it straight in. And the Grizzlies lead by six. They're going to have to come up with a better matchup. This guy just too much speed. Outside Rondo. Dishes it to Bellinelli. And that one off the nice back shot. of the rim and in. Bellinelli's got four points this quarter. Free kicks it. to Lee. The ball Here's Hines. Cauley Stein. Are you kidding me? Cauley Stein's got his fourth rebound in this one. Scored here, but it won't mean much. No, not at all. Not a real chance of getting back in it at this point. Greg, you think it's over? Kevin, turn out the lights. This party's over. It's a done deal. Forget about it. It might be. On the court for Sacramento. Ajahn Rondo is out there with James Anderson. Oh, I did you shoot! Then there's Kufus, and it's Cousins in at the five down low. So it's Memphis I picking up the I was Squire! Pretty good feeling right now for them to be out Market, certainly. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present our Jordan Player of the Game, Mark Gasol. He was dead on from the field tonight, guys. I'd call his performance heck of And we are still early in the postseason. There's more. Preston Square. I was Preston Square. I know money isn't everything to be free. I find it hard to say. God dang cutscene! You're a man of conviction, but it's my responsibility to point out the consequences of that way of thinking. Now, for you, winning is everything, but winning isn't something you could do alone. It requires excellent or at the very least competent coaching, contributing teammates, and God willing good health. And we all know that's not a guarantee.
Now, the reality is you're not in control of any of those other factors. But if you, as the star player, fail to win and deliver a championship, you will be held responsible. You will be scapegoated, you will be villainized, and you will be punished accordingly. So when you say to me that as a free agent, all you care about is being in the best position to win, I understand what you mean. But again, that's not only up to you. Now, I'm going to call my guy at Apollo Jets. I'm going to get us a private plane for this tour. I promise you, you're going to love the free agency experience. Now, your relationship with Vic has unfortunately cost us in some of these negotiations. We had 10 teams interested. We now only have three. But thankfully, thankfully, you wised up when it came to Vic. Have you been in contact with Vic? Yo, freak, look at me. He still has one of my cars, Dom. What did I tell you about the L word? The L word? What is Loyalty. Uh. I don't know what kind of hold this Vic has over you, but it makes me scared. You're a free agent for the first time in your career, and the only person you need to be loyal to is you. You need to be an FOF. You need to be a friend of Freak. Let's forget about winning without appropriate compensation and loyalty that hasn't been earned and isn't deserved. This is a tough business, Freak. We need to be tougher. Come on. CC? Woo! Lord Jesus, I was about to blow a gasket. <sighs> okay, Freak. Now, our, there are our very few options on the table, and I want you to explore them all before making your final decision. Whatever you decide, it needs to be an informed decision, not an emotional one. The larger the market, the greater resources at your disposal and exposure for you. But if you don't allocate these resources properly, then it's just a big spotlight on you as you lose. Well, thank you kindly, big sis. She's right, Freak. Thanks. Absolutely. Team Freak, that's what we're about. Oh, whoa, I don't know if I like this. What? Dom and CC high-fiving like that? I mean, yeah, why you got so certain I'm gonna lose? Whoa, 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 no one thinks you're going to lose, Freak. You guys sure sound like it. We just want you to select a franchise that has great coaching, super talent, exposure, but most importantly, a ton of cap space. If the team doesn't win and you're to blame, at least you won't be broke, capiche? Capiche. Also, you should make sure it's somewhere you want to raise a family, but no pressure. Mm. <laughs> you guys have made this decision so much easier. What did mom and dad say? You know what they said. I mean, but honestly, I'm torn. I've heard and listened to what you've all had to say. Don't take this the wrong way. There's just one person I haven't heard from, and that's Vic. Oh, Lord, help us. Yo, Vic, where you at? I've been trying to call you, man. Hit me back. You know him. He's probably somewhere too loud to hear his phone. I don't know. I think Vic's actually upset with me. Free agent, choose three teams. Oh. Memphis is still interested in me. Knicks are interested in me. to Knicks I just don't like the coach Utah Denver 